My story, through, rigor, through rigorous effort, starts in South Central LA. And I grew up in, in, in the street, um, South Central, 50th and Compton. And I grew up angry. And I grew up angry because when I looked out of the door, when I looked outside of the door, when I stepped outside of my door, I didn't feel safe. And for everything that my parents were doing, they were so, such good parents now. They pushed me to go to school. They were telling me to do good. They were telling me this education was the way out. But when my dad would cash his check, it didn't make sense that he was working so hard and getting paid so little. And when he would cry himself to sleep because they couldn't pay rent at the end of the month, when my mom and my dad had to take food out of their mouths to feed my two younger sisters and I, it didn't make sense to me. And I was angry. So when I looked outside of the door, the people that I saw taking care of their family and putting food on the table were gang members. And I decided at the age of 13 that that was going to be my life, that I was going to dedicate the rest of my life to ensuring that my family had a safe and secure future. And that if that meant that I was going to dedicate the rest of my life to gangs, that that was going to be okay. And so I ended up going to Dorsey High School. And if you're familiar with LA culture, you know that Dorsey High School is the rival to Crenshaw High School. Uh, but Crenshaw and Dorsey aren't just rivals in the traditional sense of high school rivalry. They're also the birthplace of the two largest gangs to ever come about in US history, and that's the Bloods and the Cribs. And so here I find myself wanting to be a gang member and finding myself in the ripe environment to be a gang member. And I end up in detention. And in detention, they gave me an ultimatum. They said either you stay in detention or you go to this thing called Eco Club. 